Hey -o, and a welcome in today. Today you're joined by me, Daniel, as we paint this image here, this otter, in a Simpson style. So this was a, a little suggestion for my mate, just to um, go ahead and draw like something in a different style. Um, I kind of saw the idea and was like playing around with it and was like, well, I want to give it a go, and so. I just went for it in the end, and it took me a little while what I was going to do and how I was going to do it, um, but I put things on my list, usually, um, and then if they're on my list, it gets done eventually, probably the next month or that month, it just depends on how busy I am or what else is on my list and what other paintings and um, what are the 90 minute challenges and things I've got going on at the moment uh, but it went on my list and it actually took like only a week or so to actually you know get it done on the list to start it um, so this will be a kind of three part kind of video series um, where you see me paint this otter in three different styles um, usually I think it's four styles, usually, um, but I've seen multiple different versions of it where they draw a certain character in different styles. Um, I decided to, you know, create this otter, this image of an otter, um, in, you know, three different styles, um, because when I do like drawing animals and things like that, um, it's something I'm familiar with, um, so that, you know, I'm familiar with, you know, drawing something like this, um, so that I can take it and then take it into unfamiliar territory, like drawing um, the Simpsons. I don't really draw that kind of style, the Simpsons style, um, or, you know, that kind of cartoony thing. Um, and then... You know, heading into DreamWorks, as you'll see, you'll see me talk about that, and then the third style as well, um, which you'll see me talk about in the next few weeks, so that's exciting, you know the next, the next step, basically, you won't know the third step until, um, yeah, I just let you know what the third step is, um, but yeah, three different styles that I will be doing, um, for this, um, I'm, I think, I can't remember the third, I think the third was uh, draw it just in your style kind of a thing um, possibly, as far as I know um, find out <laughs> or you guys will find out with me um, but yeah, drawing it in three different styles um, obviously you got to have a good drawing so I'm just kind of here, you can see me I did a few attempts at drawing it um, and yeah and then from here it's just once a good good drawing it's just putting it into its style um now obviously with the simpsons it's it's a little bit more simplistic um so it didn't actually take me uh, you know this was supposed to be a 90 minute art challenge uh, but it didn't actually take me 90 minutes to do um just because i got to a certain point in like there's only so much I could do to to you know push it. Uh, there's not much I could have done further basically because you know I've, I've used all the rules that they have in the Simpsons, which is uh, pretty much very vibrant colors there, a black outline, um, minimal toning, just pretty much um, a kind of a drop shadow, shadow sh shading and highlights that's pretty much it there's no there's nothing um, else really to it um a very vibrant color very solid outline um and yeah minimal shading but a little bit of a little bit of shadow and a little bit of um highlights but very minimal but enough to kind of um make the subject matter stand out a little bit um, and make it seem real in a way enough so those were the kind of variables i had 
to play around with um and they were very easy you know it's very cut back um there's not a lot of shading not a lot of fur texture um going on there's a little bit of fur texture in the cat as you can see in the simpsons cat uh, but no, only really the black outline it's not like you don't get um whiskers you don't get it doesn't seem like a lot there so i had a very minimal to use um also they have white eyes most of the characters do have white eyes but then the cat there does have um green eyes with those black dots um so I was decided I would go with just black kind of beady eyes like that, like in reverse um, to what the Simpsons eyes are, you know, in reverse. Um, I've, I think I've seen it um, used in the Simpsons where they have um, creatures or animals with different eyes, not just those white eyes. So... I didn't really want to give it those white beady eyes. I don't know what it would look like with them. <laughs> I just I didn't try that. Um, maybe that's one thing I should try. Um, I just went with the flow of the black beady eyes because it gave it that cute look. Um, I might give it a go. I'll go and, and try that out and see what it looks like. <laughs> Be like no or yes yay or nay um so i think that's is something to try um you know when creating these things don't kind of knock it before you've tried it kind of a thing um it's a, a kind of a, a design aspect um you know as a designer and creator um i do like to play around and and have fun creating things and trying things um but yeah sometimes i don't try everything um and sometimes it can work to the best advantage maybe that putting those white eyes with the black dots actually makes it really stand out and make it look simsomy but because i haven't tried it i wouldn't know so um you know, you, you kind of have to try it, um, otherwise you'd never know, you know, sometimes, um, yeah, yeah, it is always challenging, um, kind of keeping up and, um, playing around with things, um, but at times I just go with what I know sometimes, um, and that can be a good thing because you go with what you know and um, it works has worked out well and, and that kind of thing. Um, but to expand and to, to improve and, and get better and, and push things, um, trying those little things and playing around and having a little bit of fun <laughs> um, does help. And... I, I had the time to play on here, so, you know, don't really have the excuse. I had 90 minutes, and I think with this one, I only took about half an hour to do in the end. Um, because there wasn't really too much I could push it with those restrictions. Um, once I had placed the color, once I had placed the, the line work, um, it was like, well, it's pretty much done. You know, I can't do the fur rendering, I can't do more shading um because it'd be too much shading um i even think maybe it could be pushing it with the highlights i used um but i'm not uh i it could be that i could get away with that um it's hard to say i'm not you know i i watch simpsons um but i am not you know a simpsons artist and i don't you know, I haven't looked much further than just this image into The Simpsons. Maybe by looking into more Simpsons imagery, it could have helped me as well. Um, so that's another aspect of looking at your research and remembering the research and researching a bit more because that can help you. Um, so yeah, 
hopefully you've enjoyed me creating this Simpsons otter. Um, so keep creating, keep drawing, and see you in the next video.